Hello again. In this video, I'm going to show you some magic that will hopefully blow you away the way it did me when I first used it. On my video, what to take on a bike ride, which I'll add a link to at the end of this one, one essential piece of kit was a pair of tire levers. Well, I'm going to have to change my tune on that advice and replace tire levers with this, the tire glider. Incidentally, made from recycled plastic. I don't have the strongest of hands, wrists and fingers due to my arthritis and getting on a bit. I have to say the prospect of having to change a tube mid-ride is not something I like to contemplate. Even on the club ride last week, my friend Ian, who's been a bike mechanic for decades, so has done this countless times, didn't find it a simple task when he punctured. On one of my bikes, and the wheel I'll demonstrate this on, I had Continental Gator Skin tyres and tubeless ready wheels, not the easiest of combinations to remove and install a tyre. I punctured last winter riding on these wheels, and with it being cold and with arthritic hands, it took me bloody ages, including with the help of my pal, to get the tyre off and back on again. So anyway, let's see Tire Glider in action. And then, hook. We'll try to hook the first tie lever. I absolutely hate this. It always feels like the tie lever is going to snap. Come. There you go, failure. And there we go. And then the idea, hook that in your spoke. Apparently with some combos you can just start moving down, but believe me that's hurting my hand big style. But you get the drift, you put another one in and then eventually, and you know I'm not going to bore you with a, a long video of me attempting to take this thing off but believe me it takes a while the same thing with the tire glider then so we have here two different parts of it to do two different jobs so you can see there it's basically an L shape so this bottom bit here uh, where it protrudes you're doing the same thing you're putting that under the edge of the tire And then moving it down and you're now creating you've got a handle to push it and generally speaking when i'm out on the bike i'm wearing gloves because like i say my hands are dodgy as hell so i put the gloves on and believe me that was a damn sight easier than uh using the Tire levers. So you've changed your inner tube and you've done the easy bit of getting half the tire back on, inner tube in. It's now getting this side of the tire on. So again, as you all know, to start off with, it's just fairly easy to do by hand. You do as much of it as you can. So you get to the point where you've got that, the last bit here. Again, do it by hand is becoming pretty impossible for me. Now the traditional way with the tire lever, you're hooking that over the rim and pushing up to push it on into place. Now, this is where pinch punctures appear because you're sticking that fella in and possibly pinching the uh, inner tube and well again I'm not going to try it because I'll be here all day and it'd be boring as hell 
So again, doing the same with the uh, tire glider. Just get as much of it in as you can. Again, here we are, the awkward, horrible bit at the end. So, a bit like a tin opener. You've got the little hook there, which will hook on the rim of your tyre on the edge. Uh, and then the side of the tyre will kind of be leaning against this curved piece here. And then you've got this flat bit there, which you can use to either palm of your hand or thumb or whatever to push down. So a bit like this. Let's see if you can see what I'm doing here. Got the hook. Okay, so it's basically just hooked over the rim. And then, there you go, done. One little tiny push, and he's on. Tire glider, wonderful little gizmo. So there you are. I think you'll agree it's a game changer, especially for people like me who struggle with a conventional method using tire levers. If you buy one of these, you're going to get a quality product that does exactly what it's designed to do. And you know what? I'm not exactly saying I'm looking forward to having a puncture, but with this bad boy in my saddlebag, it's not something I'm concerned about for sure. So that's it, the tire glider. I'll leave a link to their website so you can take a look. I seriously don't think I've ever felt so positive about a bike tool ever. It's usually very boring for me to be honest. But this is going to save my hands and make an inner tube change a piece of cake. And if you watch my channel, you know how much I love a piece of cake. Anyway, any comments, please leave below. I'm sure someone will throw in a tire and wheel combo that they bet it won't work on. I could only show you with what I have, which isn't the easiest combination, I can tell you. If you found this useful, please like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it if you did that. In the meantime, Here's a link to a couple of videos that may interest or entertain you. Happy cycling, and I'll see you soon.